this video talk about eye gouges and eye rakes and eye pokes and do they work? Well, it ain't working against Bob, is it? What's happening fight fans, my name's Will Butler and if you're new to this channel predominantly I do talk about MMA and fitness but doing MMA, mixed martial arts, the mix of martial arts I picked up a lot of street self defence things along the way and my own personal opinion on things so we're talking about eye pokes today and how effective they are and do they work and the reason why I was wanted to make this video is because when I'm teaching MMA, you always get that one bloke in the class who's going to turn around and be like, yeah, but I just poke his eyes out, or yeah, I just poke him in the eye. So that's why I wanted to make this video to try to explain it don't always work. For a perfect example, try and poke me in the eye with these glasses on. You can't do it, can you? Plus as well, if someone has that ninja trick where they can block the eye poke, No, but seriously, on a serious note, sometimes they don't always work. For a perfect example, say if someone actually did have a crash helmet on or something, and they was on a motorbike and you got in mode rage and you got in a fight with them then, then obviously you're not going to be able to use the eye poke, are you? What happens if you go to poke the person in the eye and they duck their head and you whack their forehead and you break your fingers? You could either do that or you've just missed and then they could knock you out or do whatever. Now don't get me wrong, if your opponent has got a hold of you and you're grappling in a perfect situation where you can do an eye poke, then yeah, obviously it's going to be extremely effective and it's going to get them off you. But there's also another thing I think enough people don't talk about with uh, self-defence and things like that. That's a pretty nasty move to do someone. That's pretty brutal. You could you could block potentially blind someone. I mean, if you went full pelt, both fingers in the eye, you could potentially block blind that person. All over what a fight, but fights happen for different reasons. You could have been out with your mate getting drunk and had a disagreement and end up getting in a fight with him. It, it could be like I said, a road rage situation. But that bloke could could be. A, normally a nice boat he could have like a wife and kids so if you're a trained martial artist and you can stop the situation if it has kicked off with punches and fists in a different way by using your grappling or even hitting them with a body shot and winding them and letting them know like keep away from me or you're gonna get hurt sort of thing like I'm not a pushover what I'm trying to say is not every situation deserves a brutal eye poke and it's not always going to work in every situation so if you're one of these people who always be like oh yeah I just poke them in the eye like you can't rely on one technique it's so there's so much learning it's so up, up in the air so don't be blinded by thinking blinded get it blinded but don't be blinded into thinking that it's the solution to everything oh I just poke them in the eye because Life ain't like that, fighting ain't like that, it's complicated. So get that out of your head. Learn different styles of martial arts. Try and learn as much as you can. So if you ever are in a situation, you don't always have to use your eye poke, there could be other alternatives. Thanks for watching.